Hello, my name is David. And I'm Ms. I. And we're going to show you how to use EBSCOhost today. So this is the screen that you're going to see when you see our uh, databases and ebooks and the videos that we are making. So you're going to want to click this arrow right here and scroll down to the bottom where it says Access and click on it. Now you will have, at the Media Center, we have all the passwords and usernames for our uh, databases. And I'm just going to enter the one for EBSCOhost here. While David's doing that, I'll take this opportunity to tell you that this is a life skill. The state of New Jersey pays for EBSCOhost, which means you'll be able to use this after you graduate. It's true. Um, so you're going to see a lot of options here. Now we're just going to focus on EBSCOhost Web on the top of here. And now you're going to want to hit uh, Select All on the top here, just so you get the most results and you can find more information. Now this may look a little intimidating, but on the top here you can search for the topic of whatever you need to find information on. So let's say you're doing a research paper on the 2007 financial crisis. I can type in 2007 and look, it already comes up right there. So I can click on that and it'll do the search for me. Now we got quite a few search results here. Now how do we sift through those a little bit more easily? Oh my goodness, because I'm not looking at 4,000 different abstracts. Left is where you limit. All right. Or expand. So let's take it. Wait, take a look at this. So as we go down, we're already limited to full text. Let's, how could they possibly be writing about the 2007 financial crisis in 1991? Let's slide that over. We only need from 2007 on up. Did that shrink anything for us? No, we're still. It's. The next one, mm, David. And you know, my teacher said I can only use academic journals for my research paper. Perfect. Ah, now we're down to just over a thousand results. All right, that's a little bit easier. Let's see if that'll. Uh... There you go. Worked that time. <laughs> they got rid of twelve. All right, so let's take a look at the first one here. Now, the abstract is your friend, David. Do you know why? Why? Because when you read that part in the middle, that will let you know whether this article is relevant to your research. Wow. You know, that's a, that's a really good thing to know when looking at these articles. You know, I've, I've read through this abstract, and I definitely think it's an article for me. Now, how would I save an article? Well, let's open up the PDF on the left first. Ah. Okay, so we limit on the left. Our tools are on the right. All right. So on the right, it looks like I can save this to my Google Drive. I can print it. I can send it to my email or someone else's email. I can add it to a folder with an EBSCO host, although I'm not going to do that because that seems like uh, more difficult than just emailing it or saving it to my drive. Uh, I can get my citations, what? which is actually great, so, so I can put it uh, in my citations list, and they probably will have MLA, which is what I use. Well, let's find out. All right. Look at that, MLA. Now I can definitely cite this and use this for my paper. So do remember, students, that this is created by an algorithm and not an actual person, so you do need to double-check to make sure the citation is correct and exactly in the MLA format or APA format that was taught to you. Cool. All, all right, so let's go back. And, oh, hit result list instead of the back arrow. It's a little quirk in the databases. Mm, that definitely makes it a little bit easier, so I don't have to hit back a whole bunch. All right. So, what else could we go over? Yeah. So, let's look at the wage adjustment one. Okay. Ah, if this is a hit... Take a look at the subjects for you. And by hit, I mean like, hey, this mm. article is exactly what I need for my project. Take a look at the subjects, because unlike Google that uses keywords to find things, when you're searching in the database, there are subject terms assigned to each article. You're looking at them right here. So if you were looking at global financial crisis, which they say from 2008 to 2009, when it was affecting the whole economy, mm. give a click on that. Every article Oh, associated. wow. Look at that. That's definitely going to give me a lot more information for my article. Perfect. Well, David, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to record this with me. I'd like to, I'd like to thank you for showing me how to properly use EBSCOhost so I can get proper information that is correct and that I can cite with no difficulty. 
Awesome. And remember, you can always ask us for help here in the Mariner Media Center. Take care. Have a good one.